I am purely just rambling. I have been rambling at my camera for 20 minutes and I can't get a word out. Right, here is my intro. I love that my hair looks like an absolute state and this is like my first video, my introduction to the world and I've not even made an effort with my hair. Hello. <laughs> if you don't know me, hi. If you do know me, I've finally gone and done it. Yeah, I have finally made a YouTube channel. It has been a long, long, long time coming. Um, those of you that know me know this has like been something I've wanted to do for a very, very long time. Those of you that don't know me, hello. My name is Famey, um, but on my channel, it's Lifestyle by Fames. It looks like Femmes, but I promise it's Fames and it is my real name. <laughs> I wanted to keep this video still very like all go if you know what I mean I didn't want to sit and ramble so the introduction is going to be short and sweet hopefully if I can word it right so um I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel I love the thought of taking people on little adventures with me vlogging in like busy cities and all that jazz um but I have always been too scared to do it I'm just gonna put it plainly this isn't a sob story I've just been too scared to do it like my whole life um, I used to actually film all the videos, put them together and just not post them. Like I never had a channel. I just used to make the videos, but I was, yeah, too scared to post them. I used to have a little makeup blog where I would have an Instagram and I would post my makeup of the day and makeup reviews. I had an actual blogger account. There was a phase when like loads of people had a blogger account. Comment below if you remember that. If you don't, maybe it was just me. Um, and yeah, I used to review makeup products on my blogger account. I used to love doing it, but it just wasn't the same. Like, this feels way more personal than, than writing it out. And my blog posts weren't even long. They were just like little paragraphs. Um, also, please apologise. Please apologise. I'm so sorry. No one needs to apologise. I need to apologise. I'm not even looking at the camera. I've been looking at the actual phone <laughs> for most of the time. Um, so yeah, it's been something I've wanted to do for a long time and this year I just really feel like I've been kicked up the bum to do it. I'm turning 25 this year, like I have nothing to be scared of, confidence is key um, and if people don't like it, so be it, it really doesn't matter, I'm never going to be everyone's cup of tea really. So the purpose of this channel all in all is I want to go travelling more um, and this year on the 11th of June, I'm going to Japan for 12 days. I am unbelievably excited. It's literally my dream destination. I've wanted to travel there for so, so long. Uh, and when I met my partner two years ago, he specifically talked about how that's where he wanted to go on holiday. It had been something he'd wanted to do for years and years and years. So we saved our pennies and we are going. Now, I travelled around Southeast Asia in January 2020 until March 2020 and had the best time of my life. I was absolutely thriving. I was I was doing things that I would never do normally. My confidence was skyrocketing. However, one thing I didn't do was I didn't video any of it. I have so many beautiful photos. I have so many, excuse that notification. I have so many beautiful photos, so many memories, but I really wish I had filmed some of my experiences there. So I said to my boyfriend, one of the things I wanted to do around Japan was to get a really nice camera, a decent camera or a GoPro and film some of the things we do because nothing would bring me more joy than going, coming back and being able to watch on telly some of the stuff we did. Now, don't get me wrong. It's still a very personal trip and I don't want to be like this the whole time. I want to experience some things through my eyes rather than through the camera. Unreal. It took me so long to take a sip. Before we get into the rest of this video, just so that you have a little introduction and so you get to know me a little bit more before I take you on this little journey of the day, um, let's just do like 10 quick facts. I'm not gonna be able to think of them on the spot, so bear with me. 10 quick facts about me. Number one, I'm a tattooist. This is like my main personality trait. Um, I love my job. I speak very openly about how much I love my job. and. I love tattoos. I have quite a few. That's it. Fact number two, I have 41 tattoos. I have counted them all and I have counted them individually, even though there's some that are like teeny tiny. Um, Number three. Yeah, I used to study makeup. Let's go with that. I had a special effects 
account and I studied special effects makeup for like I don't know how long it wasn't very long I did it in London um with a guy that was an opera singer it was a very surreal experience number four I am cat obsessed I have um portraits of my cats tattooed on me sadly they're no longer with me but um yeah I have four cat tattoos in total and um yeah number four Five. my favorite film is the lost boys it literally has been my favorite film since i was a wee tiny little child you can probably see up there i have a lost boys mug um i collect lost boys memorabilia i've got a mug i've got oven mitts can you believe that there are lost boys themed oven mitts i have a lost boys tattoo it's just the greatest film of all time and no one can change my opinion <laughs> I would even go as far as to saying that my boyfriend looks like a lost boy and that was probably one of the reasons I was first attracted to him. Number six, I have a quite poor vision. I'm not wearing my glasses for this video um, because I don't need them for like close up things, but I tend to wear them just all the time anyway. In fact, I wear them 24 seven. My vision is not great. Um, but because I made the effort and did my makeup, I thought let's not wear them for the intro, but for the rest of the video, I will be wearing them. Where did we even get to? Number seven. Oh, my favourite season is summer. Let's say summer. I am a big autumnal girl, but I don't want to be that person to be like, I love pumpkin spice and Halloween. I do love pumpkin spice and Halloween, but it's a stereotype that I'm not going to get into. So yeah, let's say summer. My birthday's in summer. There's always a lot of things to look forward to. Festival season. And this year I'm going on holiday in summer, like to Japan. So it will be hopefully the best summer ever. Number eight, my favorite band of all time is Don Broco. If you know who they are, they are like a rock alternative kind of, I'm gonna call them like a Kerrang vibe. Um, <laughs> they are a rock and alternative band from Bedford. Um, yeah, big fan. First time I went to see them, I was 14 and I'm 25 this year. So they have been a consistent part of my life for a good like 10, 11 years now. Um, and I have seen them, I want to say a total of 22 times, possibly. Number nine, I am pescatarian. I would say most of the time I don't eat fish. Um, very rarely I eat fish. It's normally if I'm like on holiday or if I'm out at like a fancy dinner or something, but I'm not a big fish eater but I do not eat meat, um, as in animal meat. Um, reasoning behind this is a whole other story, but I haven't eaten meat for three years. And yeah, I just wouldn't now, but I'm not gonna be one of those people that rams it in your face, but yeah. So if you are also a pescatarian, vegetarian, and you are interested to see what I eat in Japan, I'm gonna make a whole video about what I eat in Japan because I am so excited. It's gonna be a lot of eggs, if that's your thing um yeah it's gonna be a lot of eggs and sushi and stuff it's gonna be absolutely unreal i think that was i think that was nine so we're gonna just say ten and if i've missed one i'm very sorry because i haven't actually watched back any of these videos so number 10 let's have a think number 10 i have um things from all of my favorite films tattooed on me or at least my top three favorite films um, I have the noodle box from The Lost Boys, I've got the ghosts in the Polaroid from Beetlejuice and I have a letter up here that says Sincerely Yours which is from The Breakfast Club. Introductions done, I'm gonna go on a little day out, so my boyfriend's working today, I've got a day off, I'm back at work tomorrow and I wanted to do something because the weather is just beautiful, so I'm thinking I'm gonna take a trip to town None of the nearby towns, because like I've been to them so many times and the shops are like a little bit dead. So I'm going to take myself out and I'm going to go to the shops and get some stuff for holiday. Thinking of surprising my boyfriend with some clothes for holiday. He keeps saying, oh, I'm going to get some clothes, but it's creeping up on us now. Um, and it's not even like two months away. Uh, I've bought so much clothing already. I'm just super excited. But yeah, he never treats himself to clothes. So one of my priorities is getting him some clothes um secondly i just don't have a lot of like basics that i need for holiday you know like no one really wants to see me buying socks and pants but i need socks and pants and tights and all of those things oh god i'm obsessed with this shop i'll come back there later but i could spend a fortune in there honestly
this is the shop I wanted to go in. I wasn't sure if it was still here, so I'm buzzing. They have like loads of really cool like alternative stuff. I don't know if you can see the shoes there. But yeah, sick shop. I bought so much stuff from there. Um, definitely more than I thought I would. But yeah, a little sneak peek. Tell me why I'm obsessed with this pink suit. I don't know why, I love it. I've got no need for it though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it, but I do love it. These little corsets are so cute. I have the purple one already, but I'm loving all like the greens and stuff. I really like this Bershka, Bershka jacket, but it's a little bit too small and I can't find one in the large. But yeah, this is really cool. I've just got some comfy clothes on and whacked my hair up. Um, this cardigan is so cute. This was gifted to me by a very close friend of mine. And look at how cute the little smiley faces are. Um, so thank you, Ella, for giving me this. I love you. And um, yeah, so I've had a really lovely day. This is just going to wrap up the video. I'm going to say a couple of things before I go. I want to say one more thing before I go. Um, thank you to everyone who's watched this video. If you know me, if you don't, it just means a lot that people have decided to watch it or subscribed or liked. Anything like that is extremely appreciated. And this is going to sound like a real like cringy thing to end on, but I actually quite like a bit of cringe. I was watching a TikTok the other day and this lady said that your life will like change drastically if you start romanticizing your own life. And um, her example was like she finished work at I think six and then she got her lunch um, dinner to go. I don't know who this girl is, by the way. So if she's like a famous TikToker, let me know. But yeah, she got her dinner to go um, from a restaurant or takeaway. And then she drove to the beach and sat and ate her food on the beach and read a book until like eight o'clock and then just drove home. And she was like, oh, it just makes your day feel more complete when you take some time out and do something social. And then, like, not even social because she was on her own. Like, to take yourself out and do something you wouldn't normally do on like a weekday. And today I did exactly that. Like, I just took myself randomly away on the train, did some shopping, chatted to some strangers, and you know what? I feel great for it. Thank you, everyone, again. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Please like and subscribe if you want to. And I shall link my TikTok, my Instagram, and all that jazz. I'm not going to show you what I bought in this video because I simply do not have time in this video I feel like it's going to be long I am going to record it today but I'll be posting it at a later date just because otherwise this video is going to be like 10 million hours long I don't want that so yeah